Hi guys, welcome back to the Atlas Masterclass. I'm Charlie and this is Steve and today we're both going to make a really tasty mashed potato and just sort of talking about the different potatoes you'd use, different methods you would use and then also how to get it really creamy and really tasty. Yep. So uh, let's start maybe with what potatoes have we used <clears throat> and why. Yep, so this time and this time of the year we've used the Desiree potatoes. Um, if, like, if you're at a supermarket, it doesn't say what kind of potato, you just want more of a floury type yep. other than a waxy potato. So you can really feel that just on the skin. If it is got that waxy candle feel, don't go for that. You want more of a harder, drier skin. Yep, definitely. So yeah, that waxy potato, so if you do use something that's waxy, once you start to work it and work and work it, it has more starch and it will just sort of go really thick and really gluggy and it just has a horrible texture. So we'll talk more about that in a minute as to why we're doing it. So what we've done is we peeled some of those potatoes and then we've just cooked them. So just in some boiling salted water. And then this is a step that we're adding. So we're gonna put it through the moolie. So it's basically just pressing it through this. If you don't have one of these, it, all the only difference is it will add a little bit more work to having to actually mash it yourself. But um, it's sort of a really simple way to do it. So just pressing it through like that. And this will just help get it sort of fine before you have to take it too far. The mash today as well, we're going to add quite a bit of butter to it and also quite a bit of milk. So I like it when I think of mash, you know, you could use olive oil, you can use butter, but you want something with high fat content. It really sort of just, it's just so delicious. And I think that is important when you're making it. And, and um, again, a floury potato really takes on that good fat really well. Yeah. So next we want to put the heat on and then we're going to add in some milk and some butter. And then we're going to bring it up and if you find it splits at all as you're cooking it you just have to add a little bit more milk so you want it to sort of be you know really come together nicely and have a really consistent let's have a look yep perfect a really sort of consistent texture and you know it should sort of look like it's one and not look like it's broken up yep so butter in bit by bit yep would you yeah so i'm going to add in the butter just add a few small pieces letting those letting that melt and then, you know, just want to turn that heat on as well. And then once that's melted, then we can start adding in the milk as well and get that sort of desired creaminess. A bit of salt as well, never hurts. So, you know, yep. you want to be adding some salt as you go. Seasoning as you go is always really important when you're making something. I find that way, you know, you're adding the flavour as you go. And also it's easy at the end to add too much and then you go, oh gosh. So you want to be just seasoning as you go and looking to add flavour at all times. So now I might add a bit more butter. I find that, you know, some of the greatest restaurants in the world, you know, that these French restaurants that they'll add almost 50% butter to 50% potato. So it's definitely not healthy, but it's certainly delicious. Yep, so we've got to the stage where the butter's all emulsified in there. It's all been worked in, but not too much. You just really just folding that in. So all the uh, potato and the butter's going in together. And now we're just going to add in the milk component. Can use cream, but all it really is for, like this is really rich enough. It's just to make it a bit smoother and uh, not as heavy. So again, just little by little, you can warm your milk up, but I don't see, as long as you've got the heat on the mashed potato, that you need to do that. As long as it's not really fridge cold. Oh. Hello. There we are, so it starts to come together so nicely. And then we're gonna keep adding it until we get it really nice and smooth and creamy. So obviously the more milk you add, the thinner it will be. But you just sort of wanna find a happy medium for the dish that you're cooking. Yep. So, you know, with mash as well, you could definitely add in different types of seasonings. You could add in some, um, you know, some herbs. You can add in spring onion. You can add in lots of different, um, you know, Cafe de Paris butter. So this one is just a very simple, very traditional mash. And I find that uh, this one is just, you know, sometimes the best things are the most simple. Yep. Like you say, you can take it to this stage and then you just put your preference in of what you then, your flavour compounds of what you like in there. Oh, it's looking pretty good. So nearly there. Almost there. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Then to try it and for seasoning again, because obviously with your milk, you have uh, kind of diluted it slightly of your potato taste, so you might need to season once more. Yep. So that there, 
is sort of where we're at right now. So it's nice and soft, it'll come together. You know, if you wanted to take it to the next level, of course, you could pass it through a finer, finer sieve to get it really sort of, you know, grain free. But I find that that, as tasty as it is, it's definitely maybe for at home a bit going a bit too far. I have no it. problem with a few lumps though. Yeah, I agree. Sure. Mm. I think we've actually got the seasoning there. So it's very nice and, and it's got a nice balance of salt. You can taste the butter, but most importantly, you can taste the potato. And last but not least, so we just want to put it on our plate. So sort of spread it out, and there you are. So really nice mash, you know, it holds its shape. You know, it's got that sort of beautiful yellow color from a bit of the butter, you know, the salt in there. It is simply what it is. A couple of little grainy sort of lumps, but that sort of adds to the texture of it. You know, and that there, what would that be perfect with? Sausages, yep. uh, a real good baked fish would be really nice with that. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. Enjoy.